traders and welcome to Technocat. Our today's topic is the continuation of Screwjack assembly, and it will be the last video of part modeling. In the next video of this category, we will assemble all the parts and understand its working. Before beginning, guys, if you are watching my video for the first time, please go to my channel, Technocad and Educator. and click the subscribe button along with the bell option okay you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on any of my video and uh, the subscribe button will appear just below the video yeah okay so guys before beginning our today's topic uh, let us first complete the remaining part of our previous video we were performing the knurling operation, but the operation took large amount of time. That's why I had to cut short my video. See, after knurling the component, uh, after knurling the after knurling operation, the component looks like this. Okay. Now what remains is only the 12 diameter hole in the middle of the bar. Yeah, this one. Okay. So let us scale that 12 diameter hole and cut extrude it. Uh, what is the dimension? What is the distance between the top? This 9. This is also 9 mm. And this hole is placed right in the between. So it will be 25. 25 plus 9, that is 34, plus 9, that is 43. I guess I'm right. Yeah, 43. So we will select the middle plane. This is each plane. Yeah, we can select the front plane and click on sketch. Normal to sketch button and okay. Let us take turns. Let's give concern. The center of the circle is already selected. We will press the control button and select the origin. We will give the constraint of vertical. Click on OK so that it lies on the central axis. Now we will give dimension. This is 12 mm. And from the top, or this edge is not appearing, so from the from the top, the distance between the center is 43. Okay, though, so the edge is this fully defined. Click on OK, take this edge. Now go to this feature and extrude cut, extrude cut through all on both the sides. Okay, click on OK. So our part is completed. Click on Save button. Now the part is here. It's taking time to process. And you click on save. Okay. So let's begin with our today's topic. 
uh, today's topic is to model bush tommy bar and sex group okay uh, before beginning the video let me first explain you the concept uh, while modeling this screw part uh, we have we have make uh, we have made the square thread on the 40 diameter bar here see if you look closely the outer part of the thread the dimension from this to this till this uh, vertex or this line we can say it, it is total 40 and the 2 mm is cut in the inside okay so this inside diameter will be 2 mm on both sides so 4 mm reduction in diameter so it will be 36 okay so and while modeling bush we can uh, say that the outer part of the thread is 40 and the inner part is 36 so while while doing our sketch we need to create a hole of 36 mm diameter okay so i hope the concept is clear to you let's model the part click on new let me first close the video so that more space okay so double click on part Click on front plane sketch. Okay. Make the center line because we are using the revolve command. Now we will create a rough sketch. Yeah. I forgot to give the time the units. I guess this is the rough stick. Now we only need is to select or we can uh, create a circle here. We can use the trim option, trim entities. Power trim is in this. Okay. I have used the power trim option and uh, just clicking the left click on the mouse, I have a drag it on the lines. Okay. So this is how we perform the trim operation. Now let's give the dimension. The dimension is total 88. This is 9 this one is 9 and this total is 50 so from this from this line this is this is diameter 50 so it will be 25 we already measured the inner diameter that it will be it will be 36 So this is divided by 2, 18. One. One dimension. This one is 9. Okay, this is also 9. From this point will be center the whole diameter was 88 so dimension will be 44 
So what's happening? Yeah. Okay. So this page has adjusted itself. So we will exit this my dimension and pull down this okay. and okay, so we'll draw a circle. We will try and draw a circle. Or we can also do like this. Mm. Okay, so we will delete this arc which has been created. We will create a smart dimension. This is 34. We will select both the points and give vertical constraint ok now we have created this line now we will give select of 4.5 radius so that it can be a semicircle so you can create a semicircle so H, we will select sketch fillet we can change the dimension to 4.5 entities to fillet this one and insertion control okay we will first create this case then So here is the problem. Mm, what we can do? We will go by trim. Okay, we will go by trim here. Let's control Z. Okay. Now we will give constraint. Yeah. We have placed a point here. Okay. So we can we can select the point and the line and give coincident constraint. Okay. Uh, and now we will give the diameter. This is nine. So it should it should work now. So should we do smart dimension of total height? Total height is forty five. Yes, this is forty five. Again, what is removing? 9980, 4550. Okay, so we have given all the dimension. We need to we need to trim the sketch now. Use the power trim and drag it. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. Okay. Yeah, again we need to give this smart dimension. Total is 44. Yes, it is there. And still this sketch is underdefined. So we will so we will check now what exactly is remaining. Nine. 
we don't know what is remaining we have given all the dimension so now we can now what we can do is select any blue point and try to drag it anywhere so yes now we can see what's happening yeah the problem have arise because we have given the smart dimension between the two points we should have selected the whole line here okay so let's delete this dimension yes and we will give the smart dimension Okay, now what we can do is to give constraint. Now already vertical was there. We will give the collinear. Now what is remaining? This line and the origin, it should be not coincident. This point and the origin, it should be horizontal. Now we can see the sketch is fully defined. Uh, so anything, anything is remaining? No. Let's exit the state and use the revolve feature. Yeah. It will automatically select the axis, axis of the revolution. Click OK. Now we need to cut the square thread. So what we will do? Just to select the front or right plane, we will sketch on it. Sketch and use normal to projection. Now this dimension was 36, and from 36. We will create a two by two square and then with the help of Alex we will cut the thread. So let's do normal. Smart dimension two by two. Now from this point till this point, the dimension the diameter was thirty six, so dimension now the dimension will be eighteen. The sketch is fully defined. We will exit the sketch. Now we will create the helix in the curves. In the future, I uh, select the curves and helix and spiral. See whether we can select it. Okay. We have selected the edge. Click on exit sketch. And see what's no, it's nothing. Mm. Okay, what we can do is 
we'll create another sketch we will use now the top plane and sketch will convert the entities of this edge okay click on okay so we can save we have created a circular sketch here exit the sketch and then we will go to helix and spiral yeah the pitch is six okay so we will create a helix on the defined by the height and six okay so the total height was 45 and the pitch was six six the total height is 45 and the pitch is six okay clockwise we will click on ok now with the help of helix and a square we will use the struct set command in the profile section select the square in the path select the helix now there is an error I think we need to review the helix part. We will cut this. Yeah, let's extend our helix with this feature and we will give it 50. Or we can give also 45 plus 2 because our square is a 2 by 2, uh, 2 by 2 size. So we will give it 47 and click on OK. So let's see what happened now. Just cut. Select the profile and select the edit. Now still. Now we can see the uh, the cut cut has advanced to certain certain level. So what we can do here is expand the helix, expand the helix. Okay, so we are selecting forty seven. Now we can extend it to fifty two, and see now whether we can use the cut cut part. So let us see. Helix. Now save it. We can do it now. Select OK. Operation failed due to geometric condition. Let's edit it and reduce the dimension. Okay. So we will use the cut again. Select the profile and space to and select the file.
So now we have to use the trial and error method. Okay, so delete this touch group here. We will again go to edit. Is it happening? Oh, so yes. Oh. We are very close to it. I think if we can increase by some point fifty point seven five. Will be maybe it is failing. Why it is? This is the closest we can get. So let's uh, skip this part. I will come back to it in the next video. See whether we I can obtain any solution on it. Okay, so our operations are done on this component. Let's click on save. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the name is. Bush. So we can give the appearance. Appearance in metal. I think polish brown. I think we have used the polish brown. Blue solid and yellow. Okay. I'll save it again and close this component. In the new double click on the part, you will now create the set screw, which is of M2 and M2 1 3 5. Set front length. Create a center line. We are going forward. Yeah, the profile is like this. Yeah, we can also uh, we can also directly pull out the toolbox option here and uh, select the set screw of M12 into 1.5. But let us 
I'll sketch it, okay. M12, so the dimension will be here. This is the portal. From this point to this point, the height is 8. This portal height is 25. And we will keep the angle as 30 because it is standard. Yeah. So this will be 60 degree. And from this, from the horizontal plane, it will be 60 degree. Okay, so I think our sketch is fully defined yes exit the sketch and use the wall now we will something is wrong about this sketch I think we are not given the 45 or 45 degree I think dimension the 60 degree yeah this because of this constraint this sketch is fully defined here so we will delete this constraint and make this Delete this dimension and make this dimension at 35 degree. Yeah. Is this a sketch? Now it's okay. Now we will note that uh, in the upper part they have created a square of a space of square of 1.5 into 1.5 uh, sides and it along the along the top plane. Okay, so we will sketch again. Okay. Normal to the sketch plane and create a one point five into one point five mm square. Square then in this middle point and the origin should be perfectly vertical. So we can see our sketch is fully defined. We can OK. Take this sketch and then extrude cut. Extrude cut in both the dimension and along whole length so we will select through all and both sides this one okay so now we can see our sketch is completed we will save this part that was the name set screw yeah. set screw save it We will close this and now we will head towards the our last component which is Tommy bar. In Tommy bar we have to use only the revolve command and the knurling process here. Okay, so let's quickly finish it. Double click on part, front plane, go to sketch make central line we will create a rough figure this 
We will use here the arc command, arc center point arc, center point arc, the center lies here on this axis. We can select any point because the exact dimension is not given here. Okay. Yeah. We have created this. Now we will do dimension. We need to close the sketch first. This is 12 diameter. This total is 20 diameter. This dimension is 65. So my dimension, it will be 6. And this part it is what it will be. It was 20, so it will be 10. This part is 65 to Whenever such condition happens, you just uh, click on any blue point and drag that point on the opposite side. Okay. Drag the point on the opposite side. Now this angle is 45. The angle is 45, so the complementary angle will be 135. What's remaining is the total length. The total length we can see that the total length is given from this point till the origin. Okay, the above dimension is not given to us. The total was 280. 280. Now we will use my dimension to this arc also. Let's reduce it to 200. Let's see what happens. Okay. 150. Yeah, it looks okay now. It looks okay now also. So our sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. We we'll click on the wall feature. Yes. Click on OK. So the only part remaining is the knurling command. For knurling command, we will again follow the procedure as we are adapted in the previous video while creating this screw. We will first need to create a helix, then create a cross section, and then swept cut. Okay, so let's create a helix first. For the helix, we need to create a sketch of the circle. Yeah, first 
we need to create a reference plane here for the reference plane I will use the right plane and give the dimension six. Okay. So dimension total was sixty five. We need to create a plane in the midway. So sixty five we will give sixty seven. Okay. So this is our requirement. Click on OK. Convert entities and select this edge. Click on OK. It will plot the edge on this plane. Exit the sketch and then in features select helix and spiral. Helix and spiral. Um, it will be defined by height and resolution. Height is we need knurling uh, here so what will be the dimension suppose 280 280 minus 65 280 minus 60 is a 220 220 minus 5 is 215 so from this point till okay so i think 215 will be okay here it is 215 and the revolution I will keep as 0.5 you can see the helix is created now we will create another helix but in opposite direction that means in counter clockwise direction again we will select this plane sketch on it convert entities select the edge ok in the features you have to first exit the sketch search helix again now we can use the counter clockwise the height is ok and the revolution are also ok ok now we can say the both the helix are created now we will sketch the cross section for the knurling operation again in features we need to create a plane first or uh, I think we can use this plane for our sketch Okay, yeah, we can use it. Sketch and perpendicular to plane. We will create a cross section. Select the line. I think it is okay since uh, specifically for knurling operation not any cross section is uh, specific cross section is required we will exit the sketch 
Okay, now we will use the web search command. Web search select the profile and we will select the first select. Let's see what happens. Yeah, perfect. Now again we will use web search command for this. Let's see if it's yeah it's it gets selected and use Helix 2 and click on OK. So we can see here both the headaches are created. Now we will circular pattern it. The pattern. The features will be the first search with and along this yeah. 158 158 i think is too much for this 140 150 let's see 150 Click on OK. It will take time because it has to pattern 126 times. So it will take time to happen. Let's wait for some time or uh, I will show you this part in the next video. After we have done, yeah, first knurling, first uh, this circular pattern is done. I think the cir second circular pattern takes a uh, large amount of time. So let's see what happens. Circular pattern. Again. This, no. We have to clear this selection, right click on it and delete. We have to use the cut slip and then now we don't have any, uh, any space to select. So we can also select the uh, axis of this bar. What I have done is uh, view temporary axis. I have click on the option on also view temporary axis. So it will. What happened? Yeah. So it will. So you can select the axis here. Now it's done. And click on OK. I think now it, it takes a huge amount of time. So I think I wish show this to you in the next video uh, let's let's first see what we are going to do in the next video okay we have completed all the modeling part we have created all the parts of this project assembly now in the next video we will assemble all of it as you can see in this diagram Okay. Okay. I think that's it for now. 
as soon as the process get completed i will save it and show to you in the next video okay so that's all for now stay fit stay healthy and let's end our video goodbye